The Stride Pocket Portal allows for creating device profiles that then could quickly be applied to multiple pocket portals. With just a few clicks, you can apply this device template and quickly start logging from your remote devices. This is a serious time saver for OEMs or system integrators that have multiples of the same system out in the field. To create a device profile, this must be done from the Pocket Portal website. Once on the site, select here on Device Profiles, and as you can see, I already have a few profiles set up. This right here shows that this is my default profile and that I have one unit that is using this profile. You can create a new profile by selecting here. If I select this profile, you see that this profile consists of the common settings, the analog input setup, the digital I.O. setup, and the Modbus RTU setup. Now you don't have to set up all these options, just the common settings and the I.O. that you're using. In this video, we will detail how to set up the digital I.O. and the analog inputs. There's a separate video that can be found in the description below on setting up the Modbus portion of this profile. To start creating a profile, hit here on the plus sign. Here, select that this is a new profile. Give your profile a name. Enter in this cloud update interval, and this is how often the recorded data is then updated to the cloud. Shorter intervals will consume more data and exhaust your data prematurely. When we finish this setup, there will be a graphic giving you an estimated data usage. Enter in a profile description. Select the product category. Fill out your product make. Model. And once you're done, select Save. For Analog 1, give it a name. Select the data type. You can give this a unit of measurement. For subtype, you can select either voltage or current. The period update determines how often this analog point will be logged. The change of value determines how much of a change in this value before this is logged to the cloud. Now this is separate than the periodic update. So if this value changes this much between the periodic update time, it will be updated again. You can have up to four math operations. This will help you place an offset to the real value prior to the scaling. Now here is the scaling. Once you have this set up, select here to save this input setting. Now you can select here to set up the second analog input. Select here to set up the digital I.O. And there are four points possible that each can be selected from here. Each one of these I.O. points can be set up as either input or output. Give the point a name. Here you can select if it's digital input or output. Like with the analog, you can set a periodic update rate for each point. You can select this to be active when the input is high or when it is low. You can select this as edge trigger, rising edge, falling edge, or both. Then provide a label for when the input is zero and when it is one. When this is done, select to save the point here. I'll set up another input. Now I'll set up an output. Now, notice when we select digital output here, it reduces the options. Once you're done, hit save. And I'll set up the last point as a digital output also. When you're done, select to save this point, And then select to save the whole profile. Now you'll see this graphic that I mentioned earlier in the video. This estimates how much data you'll be using of your plan. Select to commit these changes. And when you do this, any device out in the field that is using this profile will have it pushed out to it. 
Now, if this is a device that you've never applied this profile to, you're going to have to force this profile onto the provision device. To do this, select here from the device menu, select the pocket portal you want to send this profile to, go to the settings of that device, and then edit this field. Once you select this, it'll push the configuration out to the device. Now it will take a little time for the system to catch up and come back online. If you have any further questions on this device, please feel free to comment below or call into our technical support department. Follow this link to see more of our videos on the Pocket Portal device and make sure to select here to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more products and solutions.